morning, everybody. Um, thank you very much for um, being here. Um, I want to take a, a view about uh, some of the why for this project. Um, just by way of background, I actually run a startup called Block Freight. Uh, we're looking to create a, a blockchain for global logistics, specifically shipping container logistics. And, and, and the, the basic premise is that a community trust model, a federation of interested parties in logistics and supply chain should uh, define a set of transactions that are effectively a document replacement, a digital replacement, and that for each transaction there'd be a license, and, and that license would be effectively a token, and, and that token would be on Bitcoin. Now, an ideal price point for this kind of service is, is in the range of one US dollar, but as we've seen the fees in the Bitcoin transaction scale up, um, they, they outstrip the um, you know, gross uh, price point of our product. So for anyone in business, you, you want to ensure that your cost of goods sold is um, uh, less than uh, retail. And um, uh, Bitcoin Cash obviously has transaction fees that are sub $1. And, and that's a much better medium and a much better rail uh, for, for what... Uh, what we need in our business. So that was the impetus for this project of porting what is effectively a, a good platform in the counterparty project um, on Bitcoin uh, to Bitcoin Cash. So I want to take the view that as technologists and as developers um, and in this space, what, what we're effectively doing is, is retooling some of the infrastructure of, of commerce. We're retooling some of the, the means by which we, we effectively coordinate um, purchasing, etc. And, and, and one key theme in, in the digital currency space is that money is broken, and particularly national money is broken. It's unbound. It, it, it doesn't have a clear standard as to what, what value it will be in the future. And, and this, this, this project of Bitcoin and digital money and peer-to-peer and -peer electronic cash is, is to make the claim that there will be 21 million units that are the language of value to define all things in the world. So if money is half of every transaction, then the, the, the other half is either a good or a service, and, and that's where we see there being an overlap between money and objects and um, tokenization. So what, what digital money is, so I'm, I'm, I'm skipping ahead in my slides, let me, let me just revert a little bit. Um, Peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash has created a, a three, 300 billion uh, market and has been accused of, of creating a Swiss bank account in, in people's pockets. We, I, I also believe that, that capital is fundamentally broken and what, what we've seen tooled up around the Ethereum space and the ICOs is that tokens, assets and ICO market is creating a, a capital raising market of $5.6 billion uh, last year. So the question is, how do we generate 100x growth this year in that, in that same vein? I, I think what is being built is what we need to build. I just think we need to build more of it. So I want to move to this notion of creating a NASDAQ in your pocket. So what, and, and, and because equity is broken, I think that we should be starting to create uh, equity tokens so that all of what ERC20 is doing is going to be effectively on Bitcoin Cash. So if we get to a point where the, the language of value is digital currency, where the way in which we, we delegate capital and ownership in, in corporations is fully digital, we could imagine that at some point we, we effectively have all the world's wealth in our pocket and borderless and permissionless. Um, I'd like to announce today that Bitmain has uh, seen that there's um, potentially some uh, value in this, this tokenization strategy and have agreed to uh, sponsor early development work. Um, the, the, the core takeaway that I want to leave in this message is that Aspirationally, we should be tooling up the, uh, the rails of the new digital economy. I think that if we are not building a parallel system, if we are not engaged in actually redefining how commerce is done in our lifetime, then this, this is just a 
glorified hobby. I don't believe that we are engaged in what is a glorified hobby or a niche activity. I think that what we are doing is important and that we should take that mantle to actually um, um, de declare and define commerce over the next decade. And on that note, people that share that view, uh, particularly in the developer space, this project is fairly technical. Um, I know many of you in this room are already partners in the project. Um, but for anyone that has interest in the counterparty protocol being mapped to Bitcoin Cash, um, I'd invite you to reach out through our GitHub, get involved in the Counterparty Cash Association in Zug, Switzerland, and help us build these new um, uh, synthesis of uh, tokenizations and assets and licenses uh, all on Bitcoin Cash with the underlying rails of peer-to-peer -peer electronic money. Um, Thank you so much for your time and attention today. I'm happy to take questions. All right, we're going to get rolling on the questions. Do I have a runner? My runner's not here. Oh, you're running? Okay, here we go. Uh, hi. I know there's been a lot of talk about uh, whether there was a burn or whether uh, to. Uh, I guess, accommodate the current XCP holders. Uh, has there been a decision on that, or? Yeah, um, so the, 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 um, the answer is yes, there, there, there is, there is a, a burn process for the creation of XCPC. Um, the burn process is going to uh, run over an extended period of time. Um, it's going to extend over a two-year period. Um, one, one of the issues that was seen in uh, the launch of the counterparty protocol is that was a very limited window and there was this sort of, and, and also I, I think we've seen in, in the ICO space this, this propensity for countdown clocks and a fear of missing out and, and really driving uh, speculation as a basis for action and participation. Uh, the, the, the culture within this project is manifestly different from that sort of use it or lose it, or, you know, re uh, reflexive response to participation and action. Um, what, what we are trying to do is literally build the industrially useful uh, tools for the denotion of um, whatever is being represented, whether that is, in, the, in our case, a license to redeem a transaction, whether that is an equitable interest in, in some project, whether, whether that is a bond, a loan, or any other sort of financial instrument. All, all of these tools should be built on Bitcoin Cash, in my view, um, and uh, there, there isn't a great advantage in, in creating this sort of market manipulative, um, uh, speculative driver. This, this, this is not the cultural um, driver of the project. Thanks for uh, being here. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I'm curious about the uh, connection between the existing counterparty project and what you've created. I see you have up on the screen CCA um, and Zug. So I presume it's a different organization. Um, you've just addressed how you might uh, reward the existing holders, uh, but just curious about the teams and the difference in the organization. So um, we're, we're fortunate to have uh, about a dozen people who have um, uh, variously been interested to be either end users or asset issuers on counterparty um, and uh, developers within that community express a willingness to participate in a project such as uh, Counterparty Cash subject to certain things. And some of those were, this This may not be a ICO pump and dump. Uh, the, the elements and the form and the culture within the project was, was a, a necessary precondition for there to be, I guess, consent or a willingness to, to I guess, um, uh, give, give, give a blessing or so advocate or support for it. Um, the, the other thing is that, um, there's um, uh, people, people's livelihoods in, in this space are, are very important and, and they need to be resourced. So the, and, you know, the question around uh, financing and funding and, and transparency and process came up. Um, one of the other things is this sort of started as an ad hoc project whereby uh, individuals, um, Devin Weller um, and, and myself were, were um, uh, you know, 
whether it's a legitimate threat or otherwise, the threat of and the spectre of a class action for the very existence of the project was raised. Um, that was really the impetus to to create um, an association that acts, and then we are members of that association, so as to direct that uh, uh, buffer. The the last part that I didn't address in the in the previous question was around um, uh, XCP, the the uh, native asset in counterparty that. Uh, XCP is also going to enjoy a, a most favoured nation status or an M MFN clause around being able to redeem um, a counterparty for, uh, sorry, able to be redeem XCP for XCPC at a set rate, um, again, w without really mechanisms for um, you know, speculation driving um, or, or too, too much obvious price impact in the way that that's um, uh, announced. Um, but but the, the, the specifics of that roadmap will all be published within 30 days. Uh, we're just signing off on contracts with participants to um, uh, c c receive their consent to be publicly attached to the project. I've got a question for you, Julian. Uh, sometime in 2014, um, the Swarm project by Joe Dietz made an attempt to do uh, voting using Counterparty for the Bitcoin Foundation. Um, publicly, we saw you know, miners collude to prevent counterparty um, swarm voting transactions from being um, broadcast. Um, when we think of counterparty cash and some of these minor um, risks, um, what have you, you know, what, how does the counterparty XCP C community look at that, uh, you know, given that essentially counterparty itself suffered from minor collusion? Yeah, um, so if, if if we're de um, depending on an underlying infrastructure uh, such as Bitcoin Cash, then obviously the, the roadmap for the project um, is, is something that we, we have to be wi eyes wide open in. And um, to that extent, um, uh, uh, Bitcoin ABC, uh, Parity, um, and, and developers of, of uh, Bitcoin Cash nodes are uh, having an open dialogue as to what that roadmap looks like. I mean, if, if anything, the expansion of the op return byte uh, limit is, is um, more enabling than constricting. Um, uh, so, so in my view, unless something you know, radically alters for, for what the roadmap for 2018 and 19 looks like, it, it seems like actually a really nice fit. Any other questions? All right, Julian, thank you. Counterparty Cash from Blockrate.